everybody, and welcome to Christopher's bedroom. You are lucky to be here. doesn't happen. <laughs> Chris has got something to say to you all. Um, yeah, I'd like to say thank you um, to everyone who's liked, interacted, commented, shared everything on my art page. I hit uh, 10,000 likes, I think it was yesterday, um, which is a bit of a milestone. It's a, a nice little number, and it's, uh, what's the word? It's rewarding, because what I do is... You, know, you shut yourself away working on art for hours and then it's quite rewarding that there's somewhere you can post your work. I know it's only Facebook, but it just makes it feel a bit more worthwhile when people you know, comment and share and stuff like that. So, you, you say only Facebook, it's got to be the most powerful sharing tool in the world, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. It's a good thing. You're looking ripped. Are you pushing pencils? Uh, right, what I thought we'd do... Oh, Jesus. Right, what I thought we'd do is um, go through my old portfolio for a bit of a laugh uh, from when I was uh, 13, uh, 13 to 16, I think, years old. So, I, How many people have seen this? Um, for years, no one really. But, um, it's we, like um, the scene from Moria when he gets the book and dusts off the cobwebs. They are coming. <laughs> they are coming. They are coming. It's going to be bloody cushions. It's Puff the cushions off my bed. <laughs> right. Um, so what we do in here is stuff I did from the ages of thirteen to um, thirteen to. Is the lighting right? The light is good. Yeah, it's fine. Um, from the ages of like thirteen to sixteen, I think. And again, I haven't looked through this in ages, so this is a bit of a surprise. So as this well. is literally like this is yeah. We don't know what's in here, but uh, you do. Well, not exactly. I think just position yourself wherever's best so you get like a... Um, yeah, okay. Do you reckon it would be better to be on the floor? No, that's, that's fine there. Does that sound terrible? <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> what have we got here? I don't quite know what that is. Um, I used to like just doodle and just make stuff up as I went along. Which I kind of do now, but I'm a bit more, uh, what's the word, strict on what I do. Um, so that's just like some weird creature. Does it look clear on the phone? Yeah, it's good. Um, it's Byro and Pencil Crown. Anyway, I'll plough through this so we don't, I don't bore you to death. This is like some project we had to do um, about anti-litter or something. I, I can't remember. So this is when you were at school, was it? Yeah. <laughs> now, this might have been their first year in college, I think. I was like really slack in college. So that was like some uh, monster tipping rubbish on earth. It's pretty uh, <laughs> Actually, if pretty I go around this way, okay. I'll come around. Is the lighting better from this Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, what else have we got here? Right. Wow, know. that's pretty <laughs> interesting. Weird. Reminds me of the Soviet Union. Well, it's, it's What's it supposed um, to be? Um, I don't know, some war project. <laughs> okay. I can't quite remember, it's a critic on paper anyway. Just a doodle. I think this is all like last minute stuff. I was like, always, um, Last minute of all my work from college, and I just whacked stuff down. This, oh man, this one's uh, for you, Chris Harbert. He'll remember this. <laughs> I did this when I was 15. Um, it's like a little cityscape, like pen and ink. Okay. And um, uh, yeah, I basically then, a few years later, used this god knows how many times through college on different projects. <laughs> but the, the funny thing about this is, this is, um, I got my first ever cassette. Uh, Pantera's Velvet Spray of Power, and I remember being outside and using an airbrush for the first time to do the colours over the inks, and I just listened to that album non-stop, and I see that, I just remember that nice moment. Colours so, are pretty awesome. Yeah, if you zoom in on it, I don't know if you can see the detail of that. It's quite pleasing for the time, it's all a bit wonky and stuff now, but it's a fun little piece to do. Um, what else have we got here? Random colour stuff. Uh, more of that rubbish thing. Pencil things. Um, so is, is this the interior of the barn there, is it? Um, Do you even know what you're drawing half the time? The, no. No, I didn't think so. That's awful, we won't even look at that. Some little, uh, wildlife things. When I was in college they told me there was no such thing as uh, like a, an illustration course in the college I went to. It was either wildlife illustration or um, 
graphic design, and of course I didn't have a computer at the time, so I had no choice but to do, well, do wildlife illustration, which was uh, completely, completely pointless, but that's what you get when you go to like a college out in the countryside in Wales. Pinocchio! Some weird project thing. This is my first ever attempt of oils. Oh man, it's bloody awful. So it's like a, a ship in, um, I think I was about 14, 15 when I did that. But there were, <laughs> there were oils from uh, when I was painting by numbers sets, which I used. Yeah, maybe not the best quality. Looks uh, quite impressive. Maybe for a 15 year old, but looking at it now, it looks like a big mess. Uh, here we have, uh, I don't quite know. Oh, this is one of my college projects. This was, uh, of course, work is interesting. Some comic thing I was working on. Again, this is quite funny because uh, this is before I'd ever reference anything. Sometimes you know it's good to have a good, especially if you're doing say muscle-bound freak like that, you'd reference first. But uh, all this stuff was drawn without reference, so anatomically and stuff like that, you get like uh, things looking wonky and this and the other. I always like that. The, uh, the necrom Coleman. necromats are on steroids. Yeah, that's. Um, I always like that little uh, shot there of like the big guy coming behind. There's got a bit of movement in that. Well, I think I was like 16, 17 when I did this. I can't remember. It was your inspiration for bodybuilding and Arnold Schwarzenegger being displayed there? Maybe, maybe. But, uh, oh man, there's some embarrassing stuff here. I'm going to come back to these second. <laughs> there's another owl. Pencils. Oh man, this is what I did back in school. This is, uh, I was, I should be dating it somewhere. I think I was 15. Um, it's like a weird montage of uh, wildlife. Back in the older uh, Gwendrive School. How long have we uh, been filming now for? Uh, seven minutes. Just, just keep going. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I used to always uh, dabble with acrylics and stuff back then. That was my favourite. Uh, what's your, what's your favourite? Um, what's your favourite? What's the word I'm looking for? Substance to paint with. Substance. Yeah, that's the word. Uh, acrylic. Okay. Acrylic. Why? It's all I've really dabbled with. I I've tried a few other things, but acrylic is just quick drying. And it's, I like the results. Um, so when I was coming with character design and stuff for a comic I was working on when I was a kid. Uh, sort of like different ideas, different mediums and stuff. So my first go Pantone markers. So off the top of my head. So yeah. I love the colours on that one there. Mm. Yeah, again, it was kind of nice back in the day. I look at this stuff, and this is before um, I was sort of, you know, when you're sort of referencing things now and you want things to look perfect, this is where I could just slap stuff down, not really care how it looks. I mean, felt a lot more free when I used to draw back then. I still am, but it's just weird, you know, now you want things to look right, do you know what I mean? Um, first ever watercolour. Bloody Pinocchio thing, it's like college work. God knows what that is. There's another pencil sketching there. Some girl meeting the Grim Reaper. When would you say, um, obviously now you draw and design quite a lot of horror theme stuff, hmm. um, when did, have you always been drawing quite a lot of that theme, or have you enjoyed yeah, that more is... than what? Why? Why? Why that over? Say it was fun stuff because I, I was started drawing when I was a kid. So right, like, as soon as I could pick up a pencil, I was drawing. And it, like, monsters were what? I mean, just look up there. It gives you a rough idea. Of okay, it. so this is Christopher's collection of <laughs> various, part of the collection. Various the figures stashed away. <laughs> It's very, uh, very, very special to him. Yeah, there's one or two there. Yeah. Well, it's just what inspires me. You know, if, you could, if you could pick out one of your favourites here, which one would it be? Uh, Webster, the blue one in front of you. This one here. Sick. It's an awesome design. That's uh, the Staction figures. Anyway, back to my art, Dan. Of course, then, you can check Predators as well. <laughs> right then. So what else we got here is more... Um, more junk. 
Oh, here's old comic stuff I did. This is when I was stupid enough to paint all my pages on A4. Obviously now I think artists work here a lot bigger, like A3, A2, whatever, and shrink down. And now I made life stupidly hard for myself and painted everything directly onto an A4 sheet, which was never clever. Um, a few more stills there. What's fun in, uh, since you started your Facebook page, mm -hmm. what's been the favourite piece that you have done in that time? What, in terms your, of your favourite, in, no, in terms of your favourite piece that you've designed? Uh, which which one of the one you... Reese is a print of a sort of female reaper, okay. Santa Mertea, however it's pronounced. Which, um, yeah, Why I think that's one of the most popular ones I posted as well. So, what it's, makes you so proud of that one? It's just um, a chance for me to do the sort of stuff I want to do. Um, a lot of the work I do, I it's all 99% uh, of what I do is all commission stuff, like from different clients. So. Very rarely do I get the chance to do something I personally want to do, which which I want to change this year. I want to start getting a lot more personal with my work because I feel I haven't been able to showcase anything of what I'm capable of. So, so is that is that where the future lies for your? Yeah, yeah. Work? I yeah. want to sort of cut back on the client work and just do select clients and just uh, do, you know, the art I want to do because mm. I feel I'm a bit wasted in all honesty. But frustrated artist. Oh, Toto, the old Japanese Akita we used to have. Poor, poor dog died. A sketch I did of him. Gorgeous. His uh, breeding name was uh, Honey Bear Hot Stuff. He was like a stud dog, and uh, people would bring their bitches over to get, uh, <laughs> what's the word, violated by him? Stud. Yeah, with biro drawings. I always remember being told in school you can't draw with biro. Biro is awesome to draw with. Weird. Oh, the moral of the story is from what you've told me, don't listen to what they tell you in school. No, or college especially. If I listened to what they do, I'd be, if what they told me, I'd be, uh, I wouldn't be an artist now. If you were to be able to design one image that you could take with you to a desert island and have it framed somewhere on a tree, what would it be? One image. Um, Judge Death, maybe? I thought you might say that. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows who Judge Death is. Google him. He's awesome. Right. How long has this been going on for now? Twelve and a half. Already? Christ, mm -hmm. okay. How long, is it, how long does it need to be? I don't know, it's going to be around 15 minutes max. Okay. That's uh, a puffin, incomplete, no legs. <laughs> uh, sketch my brother. The guan. This, yeah, the guan. Uh, that was a thing I started when I was like 13. I wanted to paint a big fantasy uh, sort of army approaching. This is what inspired me, you know, Games Workshop, Warhammer, real nerdy stuff. I was, a, I was and still am an absolute nerd. And I'll happily admit to it. Uh, sketch was in my mum in the kitchen. Your talk may kill your comrades. Things to bear in mind. Awful felt tip thing I did for school. Awful. Collage. I'm always through this now. More crap. Oh my god, right. When I was 13. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was absolutely madly in love with Pamela Anderson. To, to the point where I couldn't resist doing portraits. I was like, oh my god, this is so bad. Check this out. But bear in mind I was 13, okay? I think you nailed it. I don't know, man. Oh my god. I think you should send it to her. <laughs> Dude, I mean, my mate Lee Mattinson, we were planning on travelling out to Miami, I was going to marry her. When she got with Tommy Lee, I was literally like devastated. It never would have worked out. I guess the closest you've come is doing artwork for Kid Rock. And Tommy Lee, funnily enough. Kid Rock was who? Yeah, Pamela yeah. Anderson and Tommy Lee as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite. How weird is that? When you think about it, that is a bit weird. But uh, yeah, I actually quite like. Uh, I got the face right there. It doesn't look like Pamela Anderson, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a poster of her above my bed, which I'd kiss every day before I went to bed. Crazy. Oh. Is that the poster that you uh, removed from your room before we started filming? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, more uh, comic stuff. Got this something that looks like Ponda Baba. Ah, there Ponda he Baba. is. The house mascot. Like baby with a big that, head. Like a predator, kind of. Kind of. It looks really cool. Um, oh, that one's wicked. Shit. Baby. Yeah. Menkon. There's a little poster. This is a 
is a college in a team. It's part of that rubbish um, campaign. Don't let rubbish take over Earth. So I was like the critics. I actually quite like how it came out. Is there Freddy Krueger behind? Um, yeah. No, no, sorry, Phil. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. More comic stuff. That's part of the cover I did for it. You ain't gonna be happy with that. Right. Oh, the mess. Um, <laughs> that was my first attempt with Pantone markers. Um, remember wow. in college, everyone was like uh, raving about these markers which, which came out, which were like four pound a marker or something like that. And it was like, yeah, it was like painting really with like paints. Um, really, really cool things to work with, but uh, pricey. Right. See, I completely screwed up the perspective on that book. Stuff you notice now is like really obvious. Right, um, 16. Okay. Uh, when we go to 20, 20 is good. You reckon it will still uh, go on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, here's now when I was really young. This is back in the early 90s. <laughs> Show my age, yeah. Grim Reaper. Oh, look how, look how muddy it is. I love the <laughs> space. And uh, planets background. I was in Scotland, did a little sketch of a, a shack I found on the hill. It's a house in Skyfall. Yeah, some weird doodle. Do it with Chris Harbert. We were like sat there, we were doodling on different boards each. Falling in love. There's a spike about to impale him, whatever that means, I don't know. Uh, oh my god, here's a picture. Um, when I was about 13, I was asked to do the um, illustration for this natural spring water company. Um, I paint this really funny image of a, a girl sort of like wetting her hands in the spring. And she really loved it, but they never got back to me. Colours they awesome. conned me. So I wasted all my time painting that and they did a runner basically. Oh, here's an old gem. When I was 14 years old, this is sort of. I started getting into metal and started uh, maybe in my head I thought it was like some kind of Satanist and I started painting the most screwed up stuff going. So there's an awful lot of. Uh, Weirdness the detail on this is incredible. Yeah, I just, uh, um, if it's not focusing, I just uh, tap the screen no, and it's doing autofocus. So if you look in there, there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, I was literally, it's all one big uh, glorified doodle. But I used to paint some really screwed up stuff. You painted that June 1995. Oh, 95 was it, so I was about, I can't remember, 15? Started 18th of June, mm -hmm. finished 28th of June, 95. Um, then I think that's about everything in here. One sec. Now, these are the funny ones. Now, this is uh, back in school, there was a competition in Wales called the Ice Devod, which was like a big nat uh, national Welsh celebration of everything Welsh. And uh, we had to do a uh, something based on the theme of magic, which was a perfect chance for me to show my your quality, my <laughs> Captain of Gondor quality. <laughs> um, this is so funny. Oh my god. I actually won first place in Carmarthenshire and third in the whole of Wales against uh, sketches of individual. No, third in Wales, but it was first in the whole of Carmarthenshire, which was pretty cool. I was up against like adult artists, but this is the most cheesy, stupid thing I've ever done. Um, look how flat it is. <laughs> it's so flat in terms of its perspective. But I was very inspired by, uh, was it Darkness from Legend? I was uh, inspired by Takiyaki and uh, oh, Kuroko. Is it Kuroko? From Yurita Sakadoji 2. Kahoki, Kahoki. But um, yeah. So I was age 14 here, 13. And uh, it's like, like a Jesus like character getting whipped by a skeleton. I don't quite know what was really going through. My... I was going to say, your, your head's always been quite an interest in. Uh... Yeah, it's so cheesy, man. I just love the fact that there's no perspective whatsoever, and it, you see that's supposed to be going that way, and the floor is going this way, it's almost like like a stick and lift. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I started getting a little bit better now, but I made a huge jump forward in the space of, well, I was, see that was, this is one I, actually this is probably one of my first proper paintings to be honest, because that was literally, that one there is like a few months, or well, maybe half a year later, and you can see there's a big, big difference in how I could control the paint, so this is a, uh, and around the same time as this, I started really getting into my painting. This is a oh, like a little scene I did with like a swamp beast. Which I was quite pleased with. I was 14 when I did this one. 
So you've got like people camping out on his belly. And you see all the creatures on there. There's another one walking in the background. Again, the beauty of this was I just like doodled on some paper and just mm. you know make it up as I went along. But you know, this is when I started like getting into using lighting and using dark shadows. You know, that's a big thing that's prominent in my work now is the darkness. And I like to have really strong highlights and things like that. Oh God, my Amazonian warrior woman. Is that Pamela again? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think I made her up. And I don't think I referenced anything. As you can probably tell by how wonky she looks. Looks just like Sable from the WWF wrestling. I know you're not into that. No. Nah. Kind of looks just like her. Yeah, so it's uh, October 24, age uh, 15. So, uh, yeah, cheesy, weird stuff. I like quite like the dragon's head. I always remember being pleased with how I did the water with that, because uh, little speckles and stuff. And here's another one. This was uh, inspired by Warhammer, the Necromundan. Uh, wastelands. Oh, wow. So that's a quite decent one there. This one's awesome. Yeah, it's like a wasteland sort of thing. Like a guy crawling in the foreground there. I've always loved sort of uh, post apocalyptic mm. looking things. Pretty cool. That's about it for my uh, portfolio. Well, I wouldn't even call it my portfolio, I'd call it like a, a, a scrapbook kind of thing. Uh, interesting viewing, I hope. Sorry if I bored you senses. Um, is that it? Are, we gonna, are you going to do the cinnamon challenge? Yeah, are you, if you explain. Yeah, Chris is going to finish this video with the an attempt at the cinnamon challenge, which is a... There's a you can YouTube, uh, Google it. There's lots of videos of people attempting to do well, it. you did it the other day. I've got no I, I did it the other day. It's, I think I did it. I, I actually completed it in about a minute and a half so I'm told but the target is to do it in a minute so um oh you've got to swallow it in a minute yeah if you can swallow it all in a minute mm. you sure you want to do this I'll give it a go we'll go onto the roof terrace and I'll spit okay. it I... so oh, man yeah, that's like a weird shaped spoon. I'm gonna get more on them, and then I'll yeah, the, 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 they, when, when I did it, they gave me like a massive ladle type spoon. It wasn't a ladle. And you swallowed it in a minute. This is going to be the highlight of the video. No one's, no one's going to care about your, your artwork. Right, get, make sure it's a proper decent spoon. Keep going. It's a waste of cinnamon. More. Oh, this is bad news to be doing it in the air. Push it. Get out of the air. Shall I take the lid off? Yeah. So pointless and irrelevant. This is not heroin. <laughs> is that right? Um, a look. Yeah, that'll do. That's it. That's good. So what do I do? Just put it in your mouth. Try and swallow it. Whatever you do, don't just try and complete it, okay? Okay. Right. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Finish it, finish it. Come on, finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! <Fuck. coughs> <coughs> That's the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> Drink, drink some water. Have you, have you got no left? <laughs> Over.